right, so Linda, what is your dream? If this could happen and it could be whatever, the best it could be, what would it be? And she said to have a chef every day in school and to have the food prepared uh, on site, local, um, and for the kids to have the opportunity to work in the garden and learn about their food, where their food comes from. So I said, okay, let's see what we could do to make that happen. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes to I think that the Abernathy Garden has really led the way nationally for the Farm to School movement. We're getting kids outside of the classroom, um, into the garden, growing food for the school lunch, but also um, using a really rigorous curriculum that is actually targeted to meet state standards in the garden. And that's really special because we're saying that we can do math, we can do language arts, we can um, meet writing standards by you know, having the kids write poetry about the garden, having them order seeds. Just measuring, figuring out the perimeter of a garden bed can be so much more tangible for a kid and help them understand perimeter than, you know, a box on a piece of paper would. So math in the garden is measuring plants and tracking growth and measuring space and figuring out area, especially in the fourth grade when they're planning garden plots because then they can figure out how many plants they can fit in an area and really use math skills in a real world sense just out in the sunlight, getting dirty, feeling things, you know, in real life, smelling things, tasting things. It makes everything more enjoyable for the kids and for me, just because everyone's so much more engaged than they would be in another setting. It's really a great example of the holistic program here at Abernathy. So Tom grows something out in the garden, something as crazy looking as Brussels sprouts. And then he brings it up to the classroom and the kids take it apart off the stems and they dissect it and he cooks it and they taste it and he builds all this momentum and they learn about it, they make posters, they put them up around the school and um, I kind of give him some ideas for how to prepare it. And by the time we serve the Brussels sprouts down here in the cafeteria, um, they're, they're like this, it's like, a, it's like a rock concert. Like the kids are really riled up and really excited. And um, I go through, I think, it was, an, it was a crazy, I think we served 75 pounds of Brussels sprouts in three days. Well, I never really had Brussels sprouts until like, I'm like, Mom, Chef Nicole made Brussels sprouts for us. And, and then a couple nights later, we had Brussels sprouts and they were amazing. I thought I didn't like Brussels sprouts. They sounded disgusting to me. But when I came to Abernathy, I just loved them. And I've never tried them before until I came to Abernathy. They were just delicious. I took ownership of this vegetable that usually is not seen as something that kids really appreciate or enjoy. And it's a really great tie-in. Nutrition services in Portland Public Schools, they have great programs. They have this Harvest of the Month program. But without the, the additional piece of the garden classroom and the work that Tom and Sarah do and the parents at Abernathy, um, it's a totally different thing to just show, serve kids Brussels sprouts in the cafeteria one day out of the blue as opposed to the, the full spectrum that we do here. So it makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> On like weekends, we, uh, my family has to water the gardens because we live right across the street. And so that takes a lot of work. So I feel really attached to this garden. So I'm new here at Abernathy and it's pretty good so far. Their food is a lot better than San Francisco. That's where I used to live. Well, I like the yellow raspberries and the raspberries and the plums and the crab apples. The kids at Abernathy are really lucky because they have healthy food for hot lunch. Uh, we looked at lots of areas in Portland um, and the school and the kitchen garden and all the programs around food were hugely influenced our decision to move here. Yeah. So I love gardening. I actually have my own garden in my backyard that I'm taking care of. My brother and sister claim half of it, but that's not true because I'm taking care of all of it. 
I feel incredibly lucky to have my kids at Abernathy. I have three boys and it's their favorite thing about the school is garden and cooking and they do every possible extra activity that, that they can. They've joined the Green Club and they stay after school and garden. They chase Tom around. They linger in the kitchen with Nicole trying to soak up anything she has to offer. I've got a brother who's now in middle school and he is usually saying that the food is not as good as Abernathy's and wishing that he could come back, eat lunch at Abernathy and then go back to school. I really like Tom. Um, I like his kale chips. Um, I really like Chef Nicole's applesauce mill muffins. I really like Chef Nicole's marionberry vinaigrette, especially when I put it on the baby spinach from the salad bar. I think kids at Abernathy are pretty lucky because they get to eat food right out of the garden and it's really healthy. The kindergartners, like, they don't think vegetables are good at all. But once you try them here, they're super good. Like, I thought I didn't like squash at all. But then when I tasted it here, I love them. If you go here at Abernathy and you think some of the stuff is going to be gross, just try it. Like, once you do it, if you don't like it, that's okay. It was a good try, but it's great to try new things. You know, what's happening at Abernathy School is exciting on so many different levels. I have been so impressed watching uh, these children just light up when they talk about what they're doing in terms of raising food in the garden, discussing food and food preparation, uh, watching what's happening in the cafeteria when you actually have a kitchen that works. Imagine that. Um, it is the intersection of what needs to happen in terms of educational policy in this country and food policy. And it's engaged the community, parent volunteers, enthusiasm with the school staff. Uh, it's a treasure. And everybody who's a part of it should be proud, not only for what's happening to the Abernathy community, but for a model that shines throughout Portland and beyond. Our family has been touched by cancer many times. Emily and I, my daughter and I are both cancer survivors and we have come to really believe that eating well, eating vegetables and fruits is a critical part of keeping healthy, preventing cancer, keeping it from coming back. And we have uh, now believe food is medicine and we're so thrilled that Abernathy is in the Garden of Wonders and the Scratch Kitchen is bringing so much more to our lives than just a great education. We are. We are giving these kids the lifetime benefit of knowing the power and importance of eating well. And for that, we are forever grateful. It's the Garden of Wonders. I mean, everything special about it. Inch by inch, row by row, gonna make this garden grow. All it takes is a rake and a hoe and a piece of fertile ground. Inch by inch, row by row, someone bless these seeds I sow. Someone warm them from below till the rain comes tumbling down. Till the rain comes tumbling down.